So it's no secret that game dev videos are in no shortage on YouTube. But I, being the terrifyingly overconfident man I am, decided to try and break the usual expectations for those videos with a project of my own. Ladies, gentlemen, and some random ass oak tree, I give you Project Daydream. In essence, I'm trying to create a AAA quality game with zero experience, completely alone, whilst also having to document and make videos on it. Oh, as well as not completely fail in school, work, and a personal life. One more thing, I'm giving myself a year to do it. So let's get started. And when I say get started, I mean spend three hours running around with my stupid ass animations until the game crashes. I cry myself to sleep and wake up the next morning to get started. And when I say get started, I mean run around. Now there's just one problem for me when designing my game. I don't know how to design a game. Okay, I now know how to design a game, and first of all, this main character, it's just, it's just really fucking ugly. So if I'm gonna make a convincing looking character, I first need to base it off a real human. Hmm, where can I find one of those? Oh wait! So after much research for the best method, I realised that if I got a 3D model of myself, an Unreal Engine plugin could turn it into a metahuman. And the next day I took about 200 pictures of my beautiful face, plugged them all into a software which converted them into a 3D model, and we were set. I mean, obviously it crashed about 30 times between that. Then after I finally got the 3D model to import, it was textureless. Meaning that when I had the Unreal Engine plugin automatically select the face features from the model to use in the MetaHuman, it would think my nose was my eye and stuff. I mean, come on, I'm not from Norwich. Anyway, I fixed this by creating four materials and connecting the four texture files exported with my face to the corresponding material before plugging the newly textured materials back into the model as materials instead of just texture files. What? Did that even make sense? Oh, also it crashed before I could do that. Then after that, any time I tried to compile it, it would always crash. And I realized that was because it was only half my face the software managed to capture. So I had the genius idea of getting a stock 3D head model from Google and just kind of like jamming my face on there. And to my great surprise, it fucking worked. So once that was done, the plugin automatically fitted my features to the metahuman, kinda. And after some tweaking, I finally had a decent-ish looking character. So you're probably sat there watching this for whatever reason, thinking that was the hard part, right? <laughs> Wrong. Because I realised in the last video that in order to do anything with textures, they had to be cubes instead of planes, and my entire map was made out of planes at this point. Also, I'd started cutting windows out of the planes, and that was just a fucking nightmare. So I decided the best thing to do was to start over and place cubes instead and fit them to the planes. While adding them, I realised that all the original planes were janky as shit and rotated wrong because past me is a fucking idiot. So after replacing the planes with cubes the best I could, I also textured them, added windows, and made them straight and all even. After about three weeks of work, I'd only done about 25% mm, of it. Oh, for fuck's sake. But it's fine, because out of crisis comes greatness, and that's exactly what happened. Kinda. So I think you'll agree with me when I say this landscape looks like doo-doo. Well, I've spent weeks figuring out how all the big daddy game companies make their ground look so good, and I finally realised, use cubes! It seems so Freaking obvious! I mean, of course I should use a cube when dealing with a concrete path, not a landscape designed for fucking mountains and- Ah! How did it take me so long to figure this out? And finally, I changed the skybox for good measure and added some good old-fashioned English grey overcast. Ah, it's beautiful. Well, as always, thanks for watching everyone, and don't forget, think fast, eat R.